Hello, this is Rebecca from Seaborf Sustainability Consulting. And following on from the short video about accounting for carbon, this is about the so what question, what to do once you've measured carbon emissions. And one thing that can be considered is applying a carbon price. Carbon prices can be set externally, such as a tax, so imposed by um, a tax authority, or they can be applied internally in an organisation. So an organisation can voluntarily choose to apply a price. Globally, about 24% of emissions are covered globally by some form of carbon price. And on average, per tonne of carbon, it's the cost of that is 32 US dollars on average globally. But the prices themselves can range between 46 cents to $167 per tonne of carbon. When it comes to internal carbon pricing, which is completed voluntarily, there's a whole range of organisations who do that. Uh, one way is to apply a shadow price. So that means no uh, money necessarily being moved anywhere, but this is integrated into decisions. For example, future decisions around investments where a price can be applied to uh, the emissions which are accounted for a particular acquisition or a new part of the portfolio. Also historically, carbon prices can be applied to income statements and in forecasting. Often the finance teams are very involved in that process. Building on that, another way to um, work on carbon pricing internally is to actually move the money somewhere and that's called a fee paying carbon price. Um, so the carbon price is applied to um, the emissions um, often starting with a pilot or a smaller scope and the money is physically transferred into a different bank account or a fund internally and that can be used uh, to fund thought leadership, research, further decarbonisation activities or to invest in areas of decarbonisation, removing and avoiding emissions. Thank you for listening and if you would like to find out more please get in touch. Have a wonderful day. Thank you.